Hello guys, welcome back to another creepy video here on Most Amazing Top 10. Phones have become such an ordinary part of our day to day lives and they work just fine most of the time, but sometimes glitches happen. And I don't mean little glitches, I mean pretty terrifying ones. I found the best stories of this for you, if you can handle them. My name is Danny Burke and this is the Top 10 Scary Phone Glitch Stories. Starting off at number 10, we have The Dead Man. This is a very creepy glitch from 2016. The video shows a man holding a new phone and opening his camera app. Now take a look at the bottom left of the screen. That's the bit that shows the previous image taken and he says it's showing an image that didn't exist on his phone beforehand, the image of a dead man. When he tries to tap on the picture, he just gets a strange error message. Now he said the phone was totally brand new. He took it to get fixed at a phone shop and they told him to do a total factory reset. He did, but the picture was still there. That strange dead man in the corner of the screen. All right, next up at number nine now, we have the daughter. This story comes from Reddit user Bilba Papa, who said that many years ago he got a call from his wife telling him that she was pregnant. Suddenly, his wife's voice cut out and he heard the voice of a girl on the other end calling him daddy. He explained that he wasn't her daddy, but she insisted he was before quickly hanging up the phone. His daughter was born later on, and then years later, when she was a little girl, he caught her talking on the phone to someone in their house. She told him that she had been talking to him, even though he was clearly in the room with her and didn't get the call at all. He shrugged it off, but the memory has haunted him ever since. Next up at number eight, we have the ringtone. This story comes from Winter Moon 555 who said that one night she was staying in a hotel after a party. She switched off her phone, it was one of those old flip phones, she put it in her handbag and she turned off the light. Now as soon as the light went out, the music started. Creepy organ music coming from her phone. She fumbled for the light switch and grabbed her phone out of her bag. The tune was still playing loudly, even as she tried to turn it off. Whatever button she pressed, it just wouldn't stop. The screen was totally white. She was very freaked out, so she removed the battery and the SIM card, and finally the scary song stopped. The next day her phone was back to normal, but there was one last creepy twist to this story. When she went through her ringtones and listened to each one individually, she couldn't find the song. There was no trace of it ever again. All right, next up at number seven now, we have texts from the past. This is a very creepy story. This is something we've actually looked at before on this channel. In early 2017, people started reporting getting strange texts from the past. Some of them appeared to be from the same day. June 23rd, 2003. Some of them were from a number simply called 19, while others had a string of digits after that. The texts all appeared to be blank. Phone networks said it was a glitch, while others spread theories that it was either a hack from the CIA or even their past selves trying to contact them in the future. What do you guys think? All right, at number six now, we have 1970. In February 2016, iPhone users started reporting on a very strange glitch. If you had automatic timekeeping disabled and you you set your phone time to January 1st, 1970, at the stroke of midnight, the phone would just break. For real. People would turn their phones off and when they came back on, the phone would just be forever on the loading screen. A lot of people had theories that this was some creepy date, maybe related to the history of Apple, but tech experts said it was just a glitch to do with how time is coded in iOS. Either way, just don't go that far back in time when setting your phone's time. Not worth it. All right, moving on to number five now. We have The Fountain. This story comes from Reddit user Erdeliik, who said that one day they were visiting a spa with their friend. They left their phone in the bedroom to charge and went out for lunch. On the way to the restaurant, they saw a nice looking fountain, but when they went to take a picture of it, they realized they had left their phone behind. They carried on with their day. They ate and spent time at the spa before going to sleep at 11.45 p.m. They woke up the next morning, went into their picture, and there was the photo of the fountain. It was taken at about lunchtime the day before. They said there was no way they could have mixed up their phones and besides, his was about to die on battery anyway. How did this happen? Many commenters in this thread had theories on parallel universes and was there something special about that fountain? Moving on to number four now, we have FaceTime. In 2011, a strange glitch started happening where people using Apple's FaceTime would see random pictures of themselves just appear on the screen. But they said, they never even took. One guy said he called his girlfriend and saw a picture of himself from that day at the office. Now he hadn't taken a picture of himself at the office. It wasn't stored on his phone either, in his photos. This raised a lot of security concerns because if they weren't taking the pictures of themselves, who was? The FaceTime glitch seems to have exposed a hidden feature of picture taking. Best case scenario, 
it's just your phone being kind of creepy. At worst, it's another person being creepy with your phone. At number three now, we have the Obama Prize. In April 2013, word started going missing from text messages. It was happening in Apple's iMessage when users text certain phrases and the last word would be deleted, leaving just a weird space behind. It only happened with the phrases, I could be the next Obama, and also the phrase, the best prize is a surprise. Now, if you sent those texts with spaces after those last words, the words Obama and surprise would mysteriously disappear. Nobody could figure out why, and Apple refused to comment. This left some people thinking that the missing words were clues left behind by some hacker or Apple employee, and that there was some full message yet to be decoded. Next up at number two now, we have grandma. In October 2014, Sherry Emerson got a text from her grandma. The only problem was, she was already dead. They had buried the phone with their grandmother when she died because she loved to text people. Sherry sent a few messages to her as part of her grieving process, never expecting a reply, so she was more than shocked when she got a text that said, I'm watching over you. You'll get through this. You'll be all right. Similar texts came through and Sherry started freaking out that maybe she was still alive or that someone had dug up her phone from that grave. Eventually, the phone company came forward and said there had been a glitch in their system. Sherry had asked them to remove the number from the system before and they said they did, but somehow it still went live again. What do you guys think? Tech mistake or message from beyond? Moving on to number one now, we have bowling. One Reddit user said they went bowling with their family one night and wanted to post a picture of the empty lane to Instagram. When they went to post it though, they noticed it had changed. The picture was still of the bowling lane, except they were now in it. It was a view of them from behind, about to bowl. After a few seconds, the picture switched back to the original. They said they were seriously freaked out and are sure that no one else could have taken the picture because it was in their pocket and hands the entire time. They begged other Reddit users for a rational explanation, but nobody could offer one. Well, that was creepy. I'd love to hear your thoughts or even explanation on those because most of them still don't have a good answer to this day. Have you guys ever experienced anything weird like this with your phone? Let me know in the comments section. My name is Danny Burke. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all in the next video